Google VO2 versus VO3. Which one is better? Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to be giving you guys my honest thoughts about Google VO2 and VO3. Now we all have heard the hype around VO2, how it's their latest model which has the creative capabilities of creating prompts like never before, improved creative control, and the most highlighted feature which is its audio generating capability. So with visual creation you can also create audio alongside your clips and that has to be one of the largest differences between VO2 and VO3 that you're going to see. So let's take a look at how both of these animations are going to perform in action, whether there are quality differences and more. Starting off, I'm going to go into my Google Flow account. I have already been using VO2 and VO3 for quite a while. So I want to show you guys some of the primary differences that you're going to see when it comes to the different types of things you can create. To get started with Google Flow or Google AI, all you need is a Gmail account. Once you sign up, you will receive 1,000 free credits by signing up for the AI Pro plan. It's completely free for the first month, so you don't have to pay. And then after that, it's only $19.99. Starting off, I'm going to show you guys a very simple example of VO2 versus VO3. So this is one of the videos I created using VO2, and I'm going to turn off the audio for both of them. And this was created using VO2. So I put in the exact same prompt in both of the videos that I'm going to be showing you right now. So there are no differences when it comes to the actual prompt of the video. The only difference was the model that I had selected. Nothing else was changed. So this is our VO2 video. Now going into our VO3 video, and this is the exact same prompt. And this was what VO3 created. And you guys can see, it is a very different video, although the same prompt was used. This is definitely a bit different. The overall video quality, personally, I do feel like is pretty high when it comes to VO3. Now, comparing this to some of the other creations we have. Now, this particular crystal world I created using VO3 quality, and I'll show you guys the result. The crystals are walking, and as the crystals are walking, I just want to show you guys some of the details within this. You guys can see the shine on the crystals over here and as the light is hitting the crystals the shine is or the illumination is coming through on our screen. So this is something that I really did appreciate when it comes to using VO3 quality or just the VO3 model. Now going ahead and comparing it in terms of audio there's no comparison because VO3 is able to create audio whereas VO2 cannot create any type of audio. You guys can see I created this video using VO2 and although this is of a very audio suitable video, it does not have any audio. Whereas if I show you guys this video, this cartoon animation that I created, this was done using VO2 fast and it does not have any audio, but this was done using VO3 fast and this is the audio. So it does have audio within this. It has some music and it's really nice. So when it comes to audio, if you are someone that is going to require audio for their videos, I definitely do think that, you know, you have no other option other than using VO3 and VO3 I do think is very nice. Even this video, which is a very simple video of a guy playing video games, when I created it using VO3 quality, it added the ticking sounds of the guy playing the games, the twitching sounds, the sounds of the keyboard, the sounds of the mouse, all of that was added by default. Now, if I was to compare this to something like this, which I created using VO2, it does not have any audio, although the video itself is pretty decent. Now, should you be using VO2 or VO3? Well, you need to understand how many credits are you going to be spending. So this is a really important thing that you need to understand, which is the amount of credits. So if you are on the AI Pro plan, you're going to get a thousand credits and you want to use them wisely. Depending on your usage, a thousand credits might last you the entire month or you might have to purchase more. So when you go into the prompt or your prompt generator or creator, you can see on your top right, you have the settings. In your settings, depending on the number of outputs, so if you select more outputs, it's going to take more credits. But VO2 fast only takes 10 credits, VO3 fast takes 20 credits, VO2 quality takes 100 credits, and VO3 quality takes 100 credits as well. So whenever you're going to be creating content using VO3 quality, you're going to be using 100 credits. And if you do it with VO3 fast, you're going to be using 20 credits. Whereas if you were to do this on VO2, you would only have to use 10. 
And this is where I do think I personally do a lot of my decision making when it comes to using either VO3 or VO2. VO2 definitely does have a drawback when it comes to quality, when it comes to the type of video you're creating. So you are going to be sacrificing a little bit in terms of that. But when it comes to just creating some basic videos and you do want some audio within it, but you're not too concerned about the detail elements, then I recommend using VO3 fast because it only takes 20 credits, which is a decent amount, but it does not cut through your credits very quickly. You're able to create multiple different scenes and within that you are able to create audio as well. You can specify the dialogues you want to add as well. But if you're someone that is looking for very detailed videos, you want everything to be perfect and these are going to be highlight videos. So if you're only going to be creating one, two or five videos every month, that is going to be your overall usage for using Google AI. I recommend opting for VO3 every time simply because you're going to be creating the best possible quality. Even within this video, they have added the sounds of crystals walking. So the sound that crystals could potentially be making when they are walking that has been included. So this is really important to note is that if you're building very stagnant scenes, short scenes, which means that you're not adding a lot of things. Maybe you're adding one samurai standing and the camera pans around him. This is a very short scene, which means that people are going to note every single detail. But if you have multiple moving elements like this, so you guys can see this is a model walking and I've created this in VO3 and they have added music as well. This is a super nice video, but this could possibly be created using VO2 as well. The model moves and the camera pans out to show the model's face. Again, I have used VO3 quality for this. I've added my first frame as well, but if I was to do the same thing by using VO2, I could probably render very similar results without having to spend the amount of credits that I did. If you don't have a lot going on in the backgrounds and if you don't have a lot of moving elements altogether, then opting for VO3 is going to be important because the main focus and any errors within the main focus can be noticeable. But if you have a cartoon animation like these pairs that I have, these running pairs, or my super cute Winx cartoon, or this anime style cartoon, I have multiple running elements going on together, which means that the focus is going to be very divided of the viewer, which means I can get away with any errors that are made. But you guys can see this was done using VO2, and this is not a very good video because she actually adds the lipstick above her lips, which doesn't make any sense. Whereas if I were to use VO3 quality, I could possibly make a better video. This was done using VO2 fast and this already shows the lipstick has been applied. This video has VO3 quality. Then I have created this video using VO3 quality as well. And this is hyper realistic, not my personal favorite style because I would want it to be zoomed out a bit. But you guys can see with VO3, you're able to control these minute details a bit better. So both of them are amazing, but both of them have different use cases. If you want to add a lot of different things in one frame and you want to add audio, you definitely have to add VO3. But if you're creating scenes that are going to be a bit unnoticed or scenes that are not going to be the main focus of your clips, then you can definitely be using VO2. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you guys did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions or queries, make sure to leave those in the comments down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.